Yo, what up, Lord of the Rings fans? So this commenter has a great question. Can you explain the difference between Morgoth and Sauron? Morgoth was like an angel and Sauron a wizard? Question mark. Not exactly, but I'm going to break it down for you so you can understand. Are you ready? All right, let's get into it. So in the Tolkien universe, there is one God above all. He is the being stronger than all the other beings ever created. He is the one that stands above all. His name is Eru Iluvatar. And before existence of anything, he created from his thought and his being what are known as the Ainur. The Ainur are the holy ones. They are beings that come from him. And there are two types of Ainur. There are the Valar and there are the Maya. Now, the Valar, in essence, are the gods of the universe, the world. And then we have their helpers and their servants who are known as the Maya. They are like the angels of the world or the universe. They are both collectively together known as Ainur. But the Valar are much stronger and more powerful than the Maya. So, Morgoth is the absolute strongest of the Valar. He is the mightiest. His name used to be Melkor, he who arises in might. Melkor or Morgoth, he wanted light and he desired creation. He was after something called the imperishable flame or the flame imperishable rather, the secret fire. That is the essence of life itself that only Eru Iluvatar has. And he searched for it. And when he could not have it for his own, he became jealous. And when he can't make things from his own being that are actually alive, he became angry, envious, jealous, and he spiraled down a path of darkness. And he became the original Dark Lord. He is the big bad. He is evil incarnate. He is the devil for all intents and purposes. Now, let's get to Sauron. Sauron is one of the Maya. He is one of the most powerful Maya. His original name was Myron, which means the admirable. He was a student of Aule, who was the smith uh, Valar. He was the Valar of the earth and of making and things like that. And Sauron was one of his greatest students and followers. And Sauron was magnificent and he was just admired by all the peoples. He was great. He was good at first, but Sauron had a quirk. He literally was obsessed with order. Now, when the song of creation was going on that was sung by the Ainur at the behest of Eru Iluvatar, Morgoth started singing discord into the tune that was going to be the tunes that were going to make everything in this world for the habitation of the children of Eru Iluvatar that were going to come into existence. The children of Eru Iluvatar are elves, the firstborn, and men, the secondborn. He told the Ainur, hey, I want you to sing these themes and do your thoughts and everything. You're going to create a habitation for my children. So you're going to create the universe and you're going to create the earth and all the things within the earth and all that and throughout time. And that's what's going to be sung in the theme. Morgoth started singing his own theme and sowing discord and all the bad and evil things into the song. So when he did this, he is so powerful. Many of the Ainur attuned to what Morgoth or Melkor was singing and they started singing his tune. Now, Eru eventually came through and shut that down and he created his own theme at the end. There were three themes and he told Melkor, yo, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Everything you're trying to do really is coming through me. You know what I'm saying? But Morgoth had sown much of his discord into the world itself. The events of what is going to happen to the world. All, all those things are sown into the world. So they are a part of it and part of his existence. And remember, many of those I know started to attune to Melkor's song. So this is the beginnings of the Ainur that sided with Mor Melkor or Morgoth going to his side. Now, when the world is created and they go down, Melkor literally 
wants to take it over. He wants to, everything to be his own. He starts messing everything up. And this is, this is beginning wars between Melkor and the rest of the Valar who are trying to create the world. Melkor drawed many of the Maya to his service. Many of the Maya that came to his service became known as the Valaralkar. They are the Balrogs. And he also drew Sauron at the time was known as Myron to his service. What draw, drew Myron to Melkor's service was, remember, Myron, aka Sauron, was obsessed with order. And the only way to truly have order is to control everything. So he believed in Morgoth's ideology of just taking over everything and controlling it. When you have free will, which is what the Valar were going to allow for the free peoples of Middle Earth to have, you cannot have just order of everything because everybody can do what they want. But when you have complete and utter control of it, then order is complete. And that is how he bought into Morgoth or Melkor's methodology. So now we have Melkor or Morgoth, who is the strongest of the Valar, and then Sauron, whose name got changed to Sauron, which means the Abhorred. They changed his name to the Abhorred, or the, the Sindar called him Gorthawa the Cruel, which means the Abominable Dread. He became Melkor's greatest servant. He became Melkor's greatest servant, his lieutenant. And he did this to obtain order. He believed his in his mind he was doing it for the greater good of Middle Earth. But through Melkor's methodology and tutelage, he became cruel and he would suffer no rival and he would just do anything to obtain that order and that control. And this is how he spiraled down into darkness. And anybody who went against Sauron, he would hate and envy and it would just drive him deeper into the, the shadow of Morgoth and he would become more and more and more evil and cruel and he would do anything to get what he wants. That's how he turned into the second Dark Lord. Now, the differences in between Morgoth and Sauron is Morgoth hates everything and wants to destroy everything. He is like a big bully that just will just he just will just is pitiless and will just crush you. He is that guy that's going to come and just crush your building, just kick over your building and destroy it. Sauron's methodology is, is different. Sauron is much more patient and methodical than Morgoth. What he can't do by force, he will do by cunning and vice versa. What he can't get done by cunning, he will do by force. But he will take his time. He will think. He will outthink you. He will deceive you. He will trick you. He is far, far more dangerous in a certain sense than Morgoth, but Morgoth is far stronger and far crueler and just straight up. He is a straight up force where Sauron will get it done by any means and he's much more thoughtful on how he does it. And it's, it's actually far more terrifying in a certain way. So they go about things very differently. Morgoth tries to just hammer everything home and get it done. Crush armies, destroy the world, burn the world down, do all these things. Where Sauron uses his wits, his patience, his cunning, his his treachery, his 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 cruelness. His he's just he's just different. And Morgoth spends his power. He wastes it within the world, and he actually becomes by the end of his reign very weak. To whereas Sauron. Uh, at the height of his power was actually stronger than Melkor was at the end of his reign. Melkor eventually gets captured and thrown in the void and is imprisoned in the void. And this is where Sauron uh, takes the chance to rise to power and become the second Dark Lord. But he is still under the great influence that Morgoth had over him because the whole Morgoth had on him was very, very great, very strong. He still adheres to his methodology and he is the shadow of Morgoth. He is the Dark Lord. He is just incarnate. He is, in essence, another devil, another form of the devil. So I hope that explains the differences between Morgoth, a.k.a. Melkor, he who arises in might, and Sauron, a.k.a. Myron, the Admirable, but we know him as Sauron, the Abhorred, or Gorthawa the Cruel, the Abominable Dread.